Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Smitty's Gunsmithing. Today, <clears throat> I'm going to be installing a mid-rib um, sight bead on this shotgun barrel here. Um, before I get started, I'll go over a couple things. Typically, if I was installing a mid-bead on a shotgun, I would do it about halfway between where the rib starts and where your front sight is. Which would be about right here. However, the guy I'm doing this for wants it a little bit further back, right here on this post, where it lines up just about with um, the front of the forend. So, get that out of the way. I'm doing this how he wanted it, not how I would normally do it. But, um, a few things you want to do. There's a couple different ways of finding the center of the vent rib and marking that to drill it. Um, you can take measurements, of course, with a micrometer, divide by half, measure it back out, and put you a mark there, hit it with a center punch, and go that route. Um, I've got a tool. It's called a vent rib center finder. And the way this tool works is it's got a um, center post right here that's um, sharp and pointed on one end so that you can uh, put your mark. And it's got these two ribs here that's equidistant. Or these two um, pegs that's equidistant from that. So what you do is, you find the location that you want to um, mark your hole. And I'm going on this rib right here. And I want to go about halfway to rib. And you take it and you turn it. Until those pegs max out on either side of your vent rib and that locates this in the center and then make sure you got it where you want the hole and I've got it halfway that rib I'm going to take a small hammer give it a couple taps and that's going to mark my hole Hopefully you can see it right there. Uh, and I like to take automatic center punch. Locate that hole. Make this out just a little bit more. Locate that hole. And just punch it out another time or two. So make sure I got a good dimple there for the drill bit to get you into. Now, I've already taken care to make sure my vice is level, my table is level, and this is level in this direction and this direction in the um, vice. And I'm going to be installing a Mossberg mid-rib mid um, sight bead. These have a 540 thread. So, before I started, I made sure to reference my drill and tap charts. Probably can't see them over here off the camera. Um, make sure I got the right size of the drill for the thread of pitch I'm using. And with a 540 um, tap, you want to know a 39 drill bit. So I took my calipers and made sure I measured the bits. I keep them together by size, but always double check and make sure you're measuring the right bit. And I got to grab something else. Okay. So now I just got to take care and make sure I get my hole lined up. This vise ha does have a laser, which guides you pretty close to where the drill bit's going to go. And it's pretty spot on. Just wanting to move just a hair there. And that's about perfect okay I'm not worried about setting the depth stop um, I'm not gonna drill too deep by any stretch of imagination but as you can see 
these are some really really tiny um sight bees there's only about two threads there so i don't have to go very deep so i'm gonna turn my drill on i had a there it went. straw for my cutting fluid and i'm gonna put just a drop right there and i'm gonna locate Still good there. I'm gonna turn my drill on. I'm gonna drill press rather. And I'm just gonna watch it. Go deeper. about as deep as I want to go I believe so I'm gonna move this over and out of my way I can see it better I'm gonna take one of these sight beads and I'm gonna drop it in upside down and it bottoms out okay Uh, that goes all the way down and I'm going to drop it okay this isn't going to thread in there of course but yeah I got enough depth okay so now what I'm going to do is drop my bit out okay and I'm going to take my tap. And because I'm not drilling this hole very deep or having to tap it very deep, like I said there's only two threads that actually catches. On the actual, um, in the, on the um, sight bead that actually catches anything. So it doesn't, the threads don't go very deep. So I really don't have a lot of room here to wind up starting out with a starting or a taper tap. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and go with a plug tap from the very beginning. What I'm doing now is just lining that hole back up so my tap is equal. All right. And I've got this tightened in there. I'm not going to drill this with a drill. But I use this to keep perfect vertical alignment so that I can cut the threads evenly. And what I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to squirt a cutting fluid on there. And I'm going to bring my tap down until it starts to touch. And I'm just going to spin it with my hand. And apply a little bit of pressure at a time and then back it back up. All right, now I'm going to go back forward and I'm applying just a little bit of downward pressure with my handle over here. And I increase the pressure a little bit more as I cut. I back it back out to clean the threads. And when I get back down and feel it starting to um, bind, I put a little bit more pressure so we cut deeper. Let's go a few turns, back it back out, pressure again. All right, and that 
should be about where we need to be. Okay. I'll raise that up. Move the barrel back over to me. Right, now I'm going to take my sight bead. I can see the threads. I want to easily start it by hand. And they're a little bit difficult to do. Reaching into the threads there. So I need to cut it a little bit deeper. Very tiny threads we're working with here. Rather difficult to get started. I may have to deepen the hole just a little bit. I'm not sure yet. Not wanting to start quite right. Almost looks like the threads are barely cutting. Did I get the right? Yeah, I grabbed the right tap. That's the plug tap. I'm gonna have to, it's not got enough depth that it's cutting the threads like it needs to, so I'm gonna have to go in here and drill this some more. Looking at the end of this, uh, about half of that is where the threads haven't even started. So make sure I get that bit. I'll slowly open this up until it just goes up in there. Get a good bit of the way. Tighten this down. Spinning through. I will tighten this up. So yeah, even though the threads don't go quite as deep as your um. Always make sure that you're lined up because, especially once you get a hole started, the laser does not give you a good guide to go by. Right there, I'm in the hole. It's not knocking the dirt off. Okay. Threads are very fine on this, back to what I was saying, and very short. But when you look at your tap, and this is a This is a bottoming tap. You've still got right here a portion of the end that's, I don't know, probably six thousandths of an inch that doesn't have any thread on it. So you got to go a little bit deeper than what you really need when you're cutting the threads. So I'm lined up. 
Center that hole now. Now that should put us pretty close to where we need to be. We should be on it. Okay. Look at my taps again. And that's my bottom end tap. So open this up. Okay, make sure that's spinning through. So now I'm gonna go back down. I need to adjust this just a hair right there. Okay. Give it a little squirt. Cut the fluid. Get down and start turning. That's cutting. I felt that I actually try to I actually it did slip. Okay. Cut back. Cut down, keep applying pressure. Back it up. Go back forward. So it's getting tight. I'm gonna back it up and go back down. It's getting tight again. A little more pressure on the ha handle going down. All right, back it back up. Go back. All right, and right there, we have reached the bottom of the hole. So I'm going to turn it several times and I'm going to back it out as I raise the handle up. And you'll feel it release. All right. And that's where we needed to be. I think it should, should thread in there just fine. Uh, chips out of the hole. I'll find our sight bead and we'll move this back over here where I can get to it. Got nice threads in there. And it threads all the way on down just like it needs to be. Not done yet though. So what I'm going to do is take it out. Get some Q-tips. If you want to thread lock these sight beads in so they don't wind up working loose from vibrations from the shotgun firing and everything. So I'm going to first degrease the hole with some isopropyl alcohol. I'm going to Q-tip down in there. Clean out any of that remaining cutting fluid and chips or anything that might be in there stuck in those threads. I'm going to go with another one. And I'm just twisting that in there and pushing it in there, getting all up in the threads and all the way down to the bottom of that hole. You see it won't pull back up straight. I have to actually unthread it back out. Okay. That's going to clean our hole up, take some air, dry this off. Blow any alcohol out that remains. to find my appropriate size wrench. I grab it the first time. Now one more thing I like to do. I'm going to take me a drill bit. Bigger than my hole. It's not big enough. It's got two sizes up. that okay I'm gonna drop this down back off take out my tap uh, plug tap or bottom and tap rather I'm gonna put this drill bit in here 
And we'll tighten this up nice and tight. Okay. Bring my barrel back over. And what I'm going to do is just round out the top of this hole ever so slightly. Try to raise this back up. Drive this with my hands. Get this lined up a little bit more. I'm about perfect right there. So I'm just going to take and spin this with my hand and put a little bit of pressure just like that. And what I'm doing is rounding out the very top part of that hole right there. And what that does is allows your um, shoulder to seat nice and flat. And it allows your bead to go all the way down. All right, so now that's cleaned up. I'm going to blow it out one more time just in case. Right, one little chip went in there. Okay. Now I'm going to take my sight bead. And I'm going to take some blue Loctite. You don't want to use red or anything. You want to use blue, something that can be removed. All right. And I'm going to drop a drop of blue Loctite on the threads. Okay. And I'm going to sit that in there. As I've got it set, I'm going to get it started with my fingers. It's a little difficult, and you don't want to cross thread it. So I'm not going to put the wrench on it yet. Okay, there we go. Now I've got it started, and i got it seated almost down to flush. I'll take this very little wrench. This is one reason I like the Mossberg sight beads. Because you can actually put a wrench on them and tighten them. It makes it a little bit easier. I'm just going to snug it. I don't want to put too much pressure on it. You're just snugging it so it bites good. And let it sit up. And let the Loctite do its job. I'll take a Q-tip. Go around the edges of it. Just in case there's any Loctite comes out. Now the hole's not all the way through the vent rib. It's not going into the barrel. It only went down to about right here where this line's at. And there's nothing going to seep through on the underside. Now our uh, sight rib is in place and it's going to stay there. It's not going anywhere unless you want to take it out. But that Loctite's going to hold it in place. And uh, it's, this is not one of the strong Loctites. It's a removable one. So... Once it sets up, if you want to take it out and change it, put a different bead on it or whatever, just got to put a wrench on it and turn it, it'll come right loose. But uh, that's how to install a sight bead on a shotgun or a vent rib. Um, procedure is the same if you've got just a plain barrel and don't have a rib. However, you've got to be careful. Some shotguns are going to be thick enough that you can do it without drilling through the barrel. Um, in fact, I've done a practice one on a real thick barrel from a single shot shotgun and install one of these without going through the barrel um but a lot of guns barrels are thinner you're gonna go through the barrel so on those guns you can't put a mid rib or mid bead on those you only put the bead on the end and what you have to do is once you drill through and get your bead in place you have to go in the inside of the muzzle um with a needle file and clean that threads up that's where everything that's went through You've got to file that down until it's flush with the barrel. You will Loctite that in place as well. And then go inside and clean up any remaining Loctite from inside the barrel. If any happens to drip through. That way your shot, when you fire down the barrel, your shot's not hitting the um, threads on the bottom of your sight bead. And deforming your shot um, and damaging your sight bead. Because if it's sticking through and the shot's hitting it, it's putting movement on it. And what it's eventually going to do is water out your hole over time. Not to mention your shot pattern is not going to be that great because whatever pellets are hitting this are going to be deformed before they leave the barrel. And then they're going to be flying erratically and everything. So you won't have a, a real nice shot gripping. 
So that's the important thing to remember if you're trying to drill um, and put a sight bead in a shotgun that doesn't have a ribbed barrel. But um, still not hard to do. It can be done. Just have to be a little more careful and pay attention to um, your procedure and what you're doing. So I'm going to take this out. And this will be ready to mount back on the um, shotgun. And this job is complete. Simple and easy. Don't take a long time. Actually, the majority of the time is taken up in your prep and set up. I, I wrapped this barrel with this cloth and put it in this vise. I had to take this table and make sure it was level. I put a level on the vise right here to make sure it was level. Then I put special sight mounting levels on the rib to make sure the gun wasn't canted to one side or the other. Where everything perpendicular. And then I put a laser on the rib to make sure it's level this way and it canted one way or the other. So most of my time was actually in setup. Um, the drilling and tapping doesn't take long at all. And just remember, if you're using a Mossberg sight bead, front or mid bead, um, they're going to use a 540 thread pattern, and you need a number 39 drill bit um, to drill your hole. And that drill bit is going to be point zero. Hold on, make sure I'm reading this right. Point zero nine nine five inches. Okay, so that's the size you're gonna need. Um, other shotguns and different types of beads use different bead patterns or thread patterns, but uh, most part uses 540. Thank you for watching. Hope this helps you learn something, and y'all have a great day.